Hello, we just checked out Dark Souls 3 and we're talking now to Michael Chang. He is the global brand manager for Dark Souls 3 at Bandai Namco. There is a lot to talk about. I took extensive notes, so I'm not texting, audience, just so you know. So one thing that we saw, I mean, obviously Dark Souls 3 is going to be hard. That's a hallmark of the Souls series. Uh, but we do have some changes coming along for this third installment of Dark Souls 3. We have a 3D map. Um, how much of the map is uh, explorable? Could I scale up and down that castle we saw in the, the preview, for instance? So the good news for fans is that um, all of it is. So anything you see off into a distance, you can travel to. So in the first look demo, you saw there was castles that he would look at. You can travel to everything. So uh, the whole interconnected world is, is, is brought back for Dark Souls 3. Interesting. So would you s describe it as open world or like just large world? Uh, it is almost kind of like both because it is it is a big world because you can't explore everything and so therefore very open but I wouldn't say that you know it's, it's the biggest world of all the series or whatever it's it's more that they brought back uh, when I say they I mean from software Miyazaki-san uh, have brought back the interconnected world um, we were talking about weapons and items were those those were combinable or or what, what were the new elements there so uh, one of the biggest new uh, uh, feature um, developments, I guess, for the weapons would be the sword fighting action abilities. So what you saw in the demo uh, with Miyazaki-san, he would take, say, a great sword and he'd do it into the ready stance and he'd deal like a real heavy attack to his opponents. So um, once you do that, you do leave yourself a little bit vulnerable to enemy attacks. But uh, you know, once he did it, obviously the, everyone was like, ooh, ah. So definitely a lot of cool moments with that. So that's one of the new features for Dark Souls 3. We were saying ooh, ah, because blood got everywhere. <laughs> because he got hit, and he died a couple times. And it happens every time there's a demo of Dark Souls. Um, so on that note, we were talking about the knights. They uh, seem to be a little bit. Well, they, they've always been challenging, but now they can do the ready stance and they can do a similar move set or maybe the same move set. Uh, it's possible. Details on that will probably be revealed uh, later on in the campaign. But um, as you saw, uh, a lot of them did take on uh, characteristics similar to your, your player as well. Um, and I wanted to talk about the world just a little bit. I know we're still early on in development and not too much uh, we can talk about just yet. Uh, but it looked like everything in the entire world was dead. It's raining ashes, the sun's going out, even the people who are alive and worshipping the sun, they look like they might also be corpse-like. Um, yeah, well I guess it wouldn't be Dark Souls without the death, right? But um, it, is a, it is a very dark world. You know, in Dark Souls 1 and 2 there was a glimmer of hope. In Dark Souls 3 there really is no hope. Uh, this world is coming into a ruined state. Uh, it's very dark and gritty and you, you know, you'd see ghouls on trees. Um, but you know, having Miyazaki-san on the title, um, even with all that darkness, um, there's still a beauty in all of it. So you saw the golden skyline, you see in our key art as well. Uh, you know, it's not all just dark and twisted. It's a twisted beauty, I think, is the, the phrase that, that he had used. So um, a lot, it's, it's a beautiful game, nonetheless. I think I see that in, in terms of even the, the Cinder Lord, Lord of Cinders uh, character design with like the slight burning on the back. Uh, so decay, but it's kind of... It's pretty. It is. It is. So yeah, the ember, the ember burn that he has. Um, the the whole world is in a ruined state. So it is in kind of an apocalyptic uh, uh, setting. But uh, and the fires are fading throughout the world. Uh, and then you see in the announcement trailer with the Lord of Cinder rising up, uh, and he kind of sucks in air and then kind of uh, you know starts to burn a bit. So um, a lot of exciting, juicy stuff that will be shared soon at Gamescom. And this is something we're, we're kind of uncovering as, as we have done in previous Dark Souls games. Uh, more and more about the stories we progress, we saw like a gravestone, and that is something, a key point for us to explore. Uh, yeah, so as, as with all Souls titles, um, the story is never just you know, thrust upon you and you're just spoon fed the story. You have to kind of uncover it. That's part of the fun and, and, and excitement of playing a Souls game. Um, but for Dark Souls 3, there will be an increased storytelling element for this one. Uh, I do feel that Miyazaki-san was missed in Dark Souls 2 in, in terms of his level of uh, involvement. This game, it's mostly, he's, he's all in? He's definitely all in. Uh, he was never gone from the series. No, no, no. Uh, Just not as much. Not, right. not his directorial view. Uh, if, if anyone felt that something was missing, like, you know, somehow it feels that like Miyazaki-san's not on something. Uh, on Dark Souls 3, he, he's definitely completely hands-on, as you saw in the, 
uh, first look presentation. Um, he he did it all. He's he's very close to all of the, the the assets that we have with the key art. He has he's a creative genius, so he has a lot to say on everything. So and that's why the fans love all of his his titles. Very good. So we saw in a couple interviews that. Uh Sometimes maybe some people had gotten the the idea that this was the last in the series, and then we heard no, this is the turning point. Uh, can you describe the turning point? The world is kind of in a ruined state, so you know the the world is coming to an end. So uh, you know that that might be kind of inferred as a an end of the series, but it's sort of the soul's world that's kind of with the fires fading, you see all the ashes everywhere, you see the fallen buildings everywhere. So it's coming into an end state in in the game. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the the game? Uh, Dark Souls three, unlike uh, two and one, uh, for Xbox One, PlayStation four, and PC, uh, coming out early 2016. So from the ground up, this is for the uh, the current new gen systems. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.